the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. And tonight, it'll be the Phoenix Mercury going up against the Seattle Storm. From gorgeous Seattle, Washington, I'm Blake Suniga. Rounding out the broadcast team are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, and we're glad to have you with us. What do you think are the biggest challenges for a coach in today's WNBA? You know, I think it's not even about the X's and O's. I think it's about keeping the attention of your team. There are so many distractions out there, plus the season is so long. The travel, it's grueling. It, it takes a lot out of you. So create ways to engage with your team. That's so important. I've got something similar, guys, and that's connecting with your team, getting your players to trust you. Honestly, I think the biggest challenges aren't related to X's and O's. It's about people skills. And here's Samuelson for three. Hits it from three-point range. One of the purest strokes in the game. Samuelson, a feared player from beyond the arc. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Takes the three. Hits the three-point bombs. Oh, some three points. quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, sure didn't take him long to go and get those three points back. We got a sewer from outside. And the storm, another three. An emphatic three-point answer from Stewart, refusing to let the opposing team own the arc. Takes a step back. Using the post moves to get the two points. She has some impressive moves in her collection. That's a good one, but really, it's one of many. I'm not sure anyone's made more big shots over the course of their career than Diana Tarazi. If there's a big game on the line, anybody ever in WNBA history, I want her to have the ball. Now here's Diggins Smith. And again, it's Sky Phoenix. Diggins Smith. Effectively scans the defense. Diggins Smith puts her high basketball IQ to good use. Lloyd from long range. Drops in the tray. And maybe Tarasi's made all those big shots because she's played in more big games than anybody. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about a gold medalist and a three-time national champion in college. She's come through in the clutch so many times. She might not even feel pressure anymore. Here's Bird. This one for three. And again, Seattle with the triple. You see how suddenly Bird pulls up for her shot, catching the defense unprepared. To Rossi outside, pass to Turner. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Storm. There's no excuse for that turnover. That's just a straightforward pass gone wrong. Bird outside. The three drills it from outside. Last five makes. All five from long range. And the defense hasn't pressed up to deny it. They're hanging back, and they're getting picked apart. Pressure the ball, pressure the man, pressure something. And it's out of bounds. The Mercury able the to retain possession here. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Second chance shot, Turner with the Rihanna bucket. Turner. A great offensive rebounder because of her awareness and effort. I'm impressed with Turner. And here's Sue Bird outside, and the storm, another three. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. And the points they add up in a hurry when you give them looks to the deep. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Russell. First foul, that is their first. first foul of the first game. Team foul. Into the lineup for Phoenix. Pass to Turner. Cunningham. Here's the three. Bangs home the Sophie trifecta. Cunningham. Well, Cunningham has remarkable shot efficiency, and that goes back to her beautiful jump shot. Russell. She's guarded by Griner. Russell with the bucket. And their offense already flowing. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. They're getting great looks, and they're capitalizing. You know, they have to be pleased with this start offensively. Now here's Nurse. Pass to Petty. 
to the middle. It's stolen by Stewart. Now here is Canada. D right on her from D. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Fast break, here they come. And she commits the intentional foul. Boy, I'm not sure what, what that was about. Talk about a brain break. That's just completely out of left field. She lost all sense of the time and the situation. Here's Petty. Inside. And the ball out of play, the Storm will have it. Just didn't make the catch. I mean, she must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Seattle leading. Pass to Samuelson. Shoots the three. Drains it from beyond the arc. And that's what built them in the early lead. Killer shooting from beyond the arc. And the defense needs to recognize that and get out there on those shooters. Pronto. Now here's Turner. Now Petty. Greiner with the ball. Just five to shoot. That shot off. Excellent D there from Mercedes Russell. Three seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Get ready for the dance squad. the storm with the ball a 12-point game from the wing and down it goes two points it has taken them no time to build this lead up great first quarter for them offensively yeah but they can't sit back they need to keep the pressure on the defense and really try to put this one away early great point brian you have to continue to build on this lead we don't see that too often plenty of space and she whips on an open jumper and a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Storm out in front, leading by 14. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Get ready for the Deer Squad! And we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move into the second. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Storm team out there. They've come out of the gate strong and put in a solid first quarter. A lot of good looks for them on offense so far. Just quality shots. So reliable, guys. Her offense, it doesn't come and go. It's always there. And from day one, Stewart's made an impact. She's already won multiple championships. And really, it feels like year in, year out, she's an MVP camp. Nurse with it, picked up by Stewart. Five to shoot. Three, Diana Taurasi. That's her Diana, second shot Taurasi. and her second Four basket. Three. My math says that's two for two. And it's the Storm with the ball. At one point, they led by 16. And few basketball players in any league can match Stewart's versatility. Both on and off the court, she's a factor in every phase of the game. And she's active in supporting those who are most vulnerable in our society. That is such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game. Stephanie Talbot. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Jacks up a three. Sinks the triple. Come on. I mean, good luck stopping that. Jordan Canada is so fast, so quick. When she stops and pops like that shot, it's just not fair. You can't stop it. Now here's Diggins Smith. To Rossi outside. To the paint. Reiner inside. No luck on that one. Lloyd from long range. And the storm. Another three. And I just don't really know what you do defensively with Lloyd because she can score from just about anywhere on the floor. Here's Griner. Stewart comes with the double team. And the ball out of play, the Storm will have it. Really careless turnover. That should have been the simplest of exchanges. Outside Lloyd. The three ball. 
good. And Jordan Canada gets the assist. Cripples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. As the years have gone by, we've seen less centers, less bigs, and rosters go guard heavy. Why is that? Well, we've seen a massive shift to the three-point shot. Threes are attempted just about 50% more over the last couple of seasons than the start of last decade. So the emphasis is on shooting, and this led to a more perimeter-based game. That and teams have gone with small ball. It's been proven that you can win with three, sometimes four guard lineups. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell-shocked. And now that they're rolling from out there, you've got to get it in their jersey and try to deny those looks. Especially how well people shoot threes these days. How about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Yeah, terrific little back and forth right there, Tim. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Canada with the bucket. That's a weapon they've been allowed to use at will today, and they're doing some damage. Yeah, the D struggling to take that away from them. Now here's Higgins Smith. She's got eight. Here's Kia Nurse from the arc. Kia Knocks Nurse. down the three ball. Right back at you. Kia Nurse, so competitive, won national championships in college, was going to respond in time. Got that bucket in no time at all. That's her fifth three-pointer of the half, filling it up. And it would take a major comeback for them to get back into this one. Yeah, I mean, the chances of that happening are extremely slim. Now here's Tarasi. Five points in the game. Pass to Turner. And it's Brianna Stewart with the rebound. Puts up a three. And the storm. Another three. The three-point shot of Stewart, it's what sets everything else up. You have to meet her at the three-point line. Because uh, if you don't, she'll knock him down. The nice thing about Brianna Stewart is I don't have to tell you how good she is. One look at her impressive trophy case is all it takes to see that she's one of the league's most elite players. And the storm, another three. These defenders better start closing down their shooters. Yeah, that's too straight from long range. And the Mercury with possession. Pass to Turner. Now here's Griner. Outside, Diggins Smith. Tarasi. Can they get it? Canada grabs the board. Stewart, defended by Turner. And Brianna Stewart, another three. As hot as she's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. Get her the ball and get out of the way. Outside, Diggins Smith, down low. Reiner, shot is good. Excellent vision from Diggins Smith. She's a player that truly makes those around her better. Left side, Canada. Shoots over Diggins Smith. Again, Seattle. The more touches she gets, the more the lead grows. Now here's Tarasi, covered by Lloyd. Outside, Diggins Smith from deep three-point range. Skyline yes, and a nice Four assist three. from Diana Tarasi. Well, part of why Diggins Smith is an elite point guard, she can work off the ball. She can catch and fire. She doesn't need to control the rock to score. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Storm out in front, opening a huge gap. And we will be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Well, it's been a one-sided affair through the first two quarters, but there is plenty of time to mount a comeback. And you know, Cool Lloyd has been really making it happen, guys. 
And those threes have been dropping for her. Absolute dead eye shooting in that first half. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, this could not have been a more productive day for her from long range. They are wreaking havoc on them with the three-point shot today. The defense unable to stop them even when they've gotten a hand up. It hasn't seemed to matter. Now here's Diggin Smith. She's got 11. Such Jeez. a wide open look. Such a solid shooter. Nurse has a, a quick release, makes her dangerous off the feet. Bird with it. And Nurse picks her up defensively. That one drops for her. Well, her shooting has been outstanding. Definitely, you know, one of the reasons why they're winning this game. Nurse with it. Nine points in the game. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. Teams first. Well, First named an all-star in 2019, the Phoenix. success of Kia, Kia Nurse spans Two far shots. beyond the WNBA. While she was at UConn, Nurse won back-to-back -back college championships, and that's not the only time she went back-to-back. -back. Yeah, in 2019 and 2020, winning back-to-back -back titles down under in Australia. Also the MVP of that league back in 2020. Here's Samuelson. Six points for her, Lloyd. And the storm tack on two more. Today we're seeing what Lloyd can do. Put the ball in the bucket over and over. Her diverse skill set, it allows her to rack up some points. Now here's Diggin Smith. Nurse outside. Reiner. And it's good. Assisting Reiner. on the play was Kia Nurse. Good ball movement. She put that pass in the ideal spot, and I can guarantee you her teammate appreciated it. Green's the three-pointer. Get your popcorn ready. Her performance from long range has been something to behold, something to admire. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, that's been her shot today. The three-pointer is on target. Three points. That's an answer back for Diana Taurasi. Still getting it done night in and night out. Here's Lloyd again, Seattle. He's the main reason they have the lead right now. She's been perfect from the field. She has not missed Seattle one, foul. literally perfect. And so they choose first to intentionally foul. foul. First. Second team foul. And it's the Mercury with the ball. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Pass to Griner. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Storm. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. What a luxury to have bigs capable of these kinds of passes. Russell is growing as a playmaker. Now here's Nurse. She's got 11. And that's an intentional foul. Brianna Stewart. Second personal foul. Third team foul. In for the Mercury. And it's the Mercury with the ball. Petty can't hit. They're three of four to start the second half. With a couple seasons under their belts, how special is that 2020 draft class looking? Well, it was so deep. Second round pick, Crystal Dangerfield was Rookie of the Year. The latest pick ever to take home the honor. And Tim, that first round was loaded. I mean, from, from first overall pick to Sabrina Eskew to the last pick of the first to Jasmine Jones, there could be multiple franchise-level players in that first round, including a, a Saktu Sabali, a Kennedy Carter. Just a league-changing level of talent enter the W back in 2020. Amazing what they're doing on offense here. Perfect in this half. And here the Mercury. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Launches it. The offensive rebound. Goes back up. And the layup good by Griner. Well, with the wingspan of over seven feet and three inches, Griner's got mad length. And she really knows how to use it. 
And here's Diana Taurasi from the arc. Gets Diana it to go Taurasi. from downtown. Well, she's been a bright spot in what has otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. In for the Mercury. And this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. Pass to Stewart. Over Griner. It's good for the seventh time this game. And she shot seven and made seven. I think, I think that's 100%. Here's Petty from deep. And again, Jay Phoenix Petty. with the triple. She might not have the long range ability as some other players in this league, but she'll knock down open ones like that. Here's Canada. And again, Seattle with the triple. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. It's been a heavyweight fight. Here's Petty. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Smith. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Here's Russell. Let's go with a three. And the storm, another three. They've been very sound offensively in the second half. And there's really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they both shot the ball since the break. You kind of wonder what was one team talking about in the locker room and, and what was the other? And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but overall. Welcome back. Fourth quarter of action starting up in what has been a one-side show. Jordan Canada with the steal. For three, it falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's an 86% accuracy mark. And here is Petty. Pass to Walker. Here's Vaughn. It's rebounded by Burdick. Here's Russell, and the Storm, another three. Well, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for the last five makes from beyond the arc. And the defense practically giving them those shots. And they'll take them. Now here's Walker. Shot from 12, and she gets it to go. The D has to guard Walker better than this. When they don't, she's capable of hurting you. Beyond the arc, and the storm, another three. What a final quarter they're having from downtown. A bunch of threes falling for them. And they might as well keep going back to the well. Work that perimeter while they're hot. And work it to the final whistle. They grab their own miss. Vaughn, that's Keep good. Vaughn. That's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready to react as soon as the shot goes up. Here's Russell, and it's Seattle scoring again. That is so tough to defend. Still cross you over in a nanosecond. That move is pretty much unstoppable. So both teams changing it up here. In for the Mercury. Petty. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. She can't get that one to fall. Now Seattle takes it the other way. Here's Magbagor. And the Storm back on two more. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to deal with their passer. Here's Smith. 
Vaughn, that's Keep good. On. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it did not work. Not if it results in that shot. Here's Samuelson. And the storm, another three. And add another three-pointer to their second half total. They came out of the break dropping bombs and are just not letting up. You love to see that. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First personal foul, team's first. Second team foul. In for Phoenix. Here's Petty. Pass to Turner. And here's Griner. Here's Petty. Shot clock at five. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Let's it go from deep. The Mercury with another timeout miss. Score. Now a timeout called by Seattle. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of. And the timeout Storm score. making a change here. Get ready for the Deer Squad! Oh no, bad time to slip up there. They gotta Sophie stay Cunningham. focused. One shot. And the Mercury with possession. Over to the wing. Here's Greiner. Storm with the rebound. Bird outside. The three is up. Through the net again. She's done that 10 times tonight, and she's only needed 11 shots to get there. We played just over three and a half minutes now in this fourth quarter. Turner, defended by Stewart, to the right side. Smith, the three-pointer, no good. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation, went over and back. And the Storm making a change here. your Seattle Storm, Jordan Canada. To the inside. Here's Turner. The shot, no good. So the Storm will take it the other way. Here's Canada. And again, Seattle with the triple. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now thanks to the spurt that they're having. And why put on the Storm brakes now, ball. Tim? I say just keep on firing. Man, Brian, you want to run up the score? I have no idea why she's fouling there. Maybe there's a little bad blood between those two? Maybe. I mean, that's the only explanation for it. And even then, it's not a very good one. Offensive rebound. Here's Cunningham, guarded by Russell. Pass to Smith. And stolen by Lloyd. Oh, no. Bad Sophie time to Cunningham. slip up there. They got to stay One focused. Plus the Two shots. Smith, guarded by Bird. Now Turner. Pass to Cunningham. Reiner with the ball. Up and Ready in on the player. layup. A valuable offensive talent. Griner's agile, and really the whole league knows it. Back to Bird. Russell with it. She's guarded by Griner. We're going to have a technical foul here. They tried to call timeout, but they already used them all. And so just lost track of the situation. 
major mental lapse. I, she has to know they're out of timeouts. That's just a totally unnecessary technical. Yeah, she won't live that one down easily. Not her proudest moment. And now Storm we've got foul. the intentional foul. Jewel Lloyd. First personal foul, team's first. Fourth team foul. And the first one at, at the line, line is good. Three. An incredibly Sophie successful Cunningham. shooter the in the college two. game. I can't wait to see everything Cunningham can do here in the pro game. And so Seattle takes this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you just have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Another fans appreciated it. We saw the excellent defense, a potent offensive effort, and they were pretty much dominant. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.